watch it live for my 50th video special. In favor of that, today I'll be doing my first ever Q&A. But before we get that started, I'd like to poof up a little montage of some of my greatest moments on YouTube. Uh, look at Sam! Now, without further ado, let's get started on my Q&A. Alright, guys. So, let's start off with my loyal fan, Ayoshi Production. Why are your comments always disabled? It really ticks me off sometimes. Well, it's because all you freaking freaks! Won't leave me the frick alone, sending me hate comments, threatening me, and guess what? I'm freaking fed up with it! What the frick? And that's why I disabled the comments on my videos. Alright. Next, we have the Smash Warrior. Do you like Mega Man? I love Mega Man! <laughs> Especially the classic series. That's why I loved Mega Man 9 and 10, because it paid homage to the classics. I have to say my favorite is Mega Man 2. Even though Mega Man 3 came close, I just think Mega Man 2 had a bit more originality, charm, and the level design was a bit more effortful. And overall, Mega Man 2 is my favorite game in the franchise. I also enjoy the Mega Man X series, although it's a bit irritating, and I like the classic Mega Man's design better. <laughs> And overall, Mega Man is an awesome franchise. And Capcom, you just need to stop being lazy and make a new Mega Man game. Continue Mega Man Legends 3. I don't even freaking care. Continue it! You know, I may have to make a video on this. Anyways, are you looking forward to Super Smash? Bros. 4, says the Smash Warrior. Oh, but of course! <laughs> I truly am. I'm especially looking forward to the Wii U version. It, it looks so visually stunning compared to the previous Super Smash Bros. outings. And of course, the game certainly excels in terms of gameplay and pretty much every other aspect of the game and overall I'm excited for Super Smash Bros. 4 especially because of the fact that um, Villager and Mega Man will be in it and last but not least the Smash Warrior asked do you hate Sony IPs? okay I don't completely hate all of them I mean, uh, I think, what? 
let's see, shall we? So we have Will Big Planet. I play that game very frequently, possibly my favorite Sony franchise. And then we have Sly Cooper, which is okay. It's sort of a Mario Sonic Crash Bandicoot ripoff. And then um, Jack and Daxter. I've never been too fond of that franchise since it Crash and Baby. Um, Crash Bandicoot ripoff, and it's also a Sonic ripoff, and then, let's see, what else, oh yeah, Ratchet and Clank, um, yeah, that franchise is okay too, it's sort of a Sonic ripoff, and, I mean, the characters are slightly annoying, but overall, it's an okay franchise. But I don't give one frick for Uncharted or God of War or any of those overrated garbage franchises. Alright. And now, some questions that Compooper user had to integrate. What do you have against Microsoft and Sony? Well, really nothing. The systems that they make are pretty impressive, but they have one minor flaw. They don't have enough games! For basically just games, their games mostly consist of FPS or third person shooter or whatever the frick, and then we have games such as, alright, let's see, we just have open world wasteland games, and, I mean, mainly the best games that you'll find on those systems are the platformers. Alright, now, he's also asking, how did I make that sword that I have? Well, all right, I'll be right back. she is so all I really did was
was take two slightly thick sticks, one smaller than the other, and of course I duct tape them together, and then I put um, some gel on here to make them look like diamonds on a sword, and then of course I have some little symbols right here that represent me. They're sort of hard to see. But, it's quite simple to make, yet it took me a couple of days to make. Now, let's move on to John Walrus. How do you feel about games of the RPG genre? Alright, so let's get this out of the way. I enjoy games such as, let's see, Pokemon. Let's see... Mario RPGs. Let's see, what else? Digimon is okay, even though it's a Pokemon ripoff. Um, and overall, there are some good RPGs out there. And I'm not sure whether it's considered an RPG or not, but Legend of Zelda, it's more of an adventure game with RPG elements, but you could consider it either one. But I've never been too fond of games such as Chrono Trigger, even though that was a Super Nintendo classic, and Final Fantasy. Although I can understand the appeal with those games. Oh yes, Kingdom Hearts is quite interesting as well. Even though I've never gotten the chance to pick up and play a Kingdom Hearts game, it still looks quite interesting, and I hope to get into that franchise sometime in the future. For example, Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance was only released on Nintendo 3DS, not PlayStation 3, not Xbox 360. Alright, guys. <laughs> Now, this is from Dan to Gamer 1000. What is your opinion on Valve? Creators of Team Fortress 2, Portal, Half-Life, and the PC program Steam. Alright, so, I mean, I appreciate that they created Steam, but Team Fortress 2 even though it's probably one of the better games of the FPS genre, I must say, I'm just not really into FPS games as a whole. And I hope you guys don't see a problem with that. And even though it's a bit more strategy based, um, it has a bit more cartoonish appeal, has multiple modes and greatly excels the quality of Call of Duty! Uh, I'm just not sure Team Fortress 2 would be my type of game. Alright guys, and then Portal, even though it's more of a puzzle platformer, it's still first person. I'm not into first person games as a whole. Alright guys, and Minecraft, I mean, I may do a rant on that in the future, and Minecraft is especially bad in first person mode, I don't even know why they added that! And then Half-Life, okay, I have a problem with this franchise, it's just another generic, urban based FPS, I mean, Sure has some puzzle solving elements such as picking up, moving, placing objects, and of course there are diverse types of guns, even gravity gun, but overall I must say I'm not into Half-Life, so accept it you fricks. And finally Steam. I'm real appreciative of Steam. And even though, again, it just, um, consists of FPS, um, 
and open world wasteland games as a majority. It has some stellar games on there, most specifically the platformers. Especially, of course, the Sonic series, Rayman Origins, it, Scribblenauts Unlimited, Mega Man X Street Fighter, and Toki Tori 2, and I could go on. Alright guys. And overall, I'm real appreciative of Steam. In fact, that's where I own the majority of my Sonic games. Alright, moving on from Dan to Gamer 1000. Now for Turtle Goss. Sorry, um, his username is quite difficult to pronounce. Anyways. When did you become interested in Sonic? Well, I became interested in Sonic about 10 years ago. Um, and I started off with Sonic Mega Collection. And my first game that I played on Sonic Mega Collection was Sonic 1. So basically, I began from the bottom of the ladder and made my way up all the way to the modern times of the Sonic franchise. And now, Total Goss, or however his name is pronounced, has another question. What do you do when you're not playing with Nintendo games and toys? Alright! So, I do many things. I draw and write. I um, play outside. And, of course, I play games from other companies. And toys from other companies. Not only Nintendo-based games and toys. And... Not only that, but I also make and edit videos, and also I play with my friends, play with my friends outside, play outside, and um, I also play with my dogs, and my dogs, I consider both my friends and my family, I love my dogs, uh, Anyways, mm, so yes, that is what I do in my spare time. I also do school, online school. Alright guys, now moving on, Mr. Post Retro. I like how your name um, represents that you're a fan of the retro era. So, he says that he likes shooters and Nintendo games and he asks should I just stop playing shooters what should I do now Mr. Post Retro I'm not stopping you from playing shooters just cuz I don't like shooters doesn't mean you can't like shooters and even though there are some better games out there and shooters usually tend to freaking buy I still respect your opinion if you like shooters and play shooters. <laughs> well, anyways, this is from a fan who prefers to go anonymous. How long does it take to make a video? Well, it usually ranges from a couple of hours to a couple of days. So, it typically varies. And, are you doing another adventure video? Mm, yes! Hopefully sometime in the future. Probably around Halloween time. And then, do you play Pikmin 3 or Earthbound? I don't have those games yet, but once I get the money, I will play them. I've always been a fan of the Pikmin series. And, Earthbound, I've never played before. But it's a franchise I've always wanted to experience. 
it's an RPG franchise. Oh uh, yes, John Walrus, if you are watching this, I am also really interested in Earthbound, which is an RPG game. <laughs> uh, and now, from a fan named Poltabender. Who are your role models? My role models are Pen Word, creator of Adventure Time, and, um, Bravest Warriors, Shigeru Miyamoto, Walt Disney, Theodore Seuss Geisel, and Satoshi Tajiri, creator of the Pokemon franchise. Those are my role models, and I hope when I enter the video game industry, I can be somewhat like them. Now, what are your thoughts on Pokemon X and Y? I think it'll be awesome. I can't wait for that game as well. Sure, some fans have been giving it some harsh criticism, but I'm actually truly interested in it. Pokemon to me looks like a creative new addition. I'm interested in the new fairy type Pokemon as well as some of the Pokemon from previous generations. And overall, I'm excited to experience the story and the world inside, world inside of Pokemon X and Y, especially with the new 3D Polygon graphics. All right, so that was from Mike Rocks 01. So let's move on. Now, this is from Squeezel. What is your favorite food? Pizza! Just like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I'm quite fond of. And now for Roger Miller. What is your favorite non-Nintendo, non-platforming game? Quite a tough one. Hmm, let me think. Hmm, I would have to say Scribble Knots, Angry Birds, Super Monkey Ball 2, Pac-Man Championship Edition DX, and Lego City Undercover. Those are some of my favorite non-Nintendo, non-platforming games. Alright, so let's move on to Cheyenne the Legend. <laughs> How come you hate all gaming companies other than Nintendo? That's not true! That's not true at all. I'm sorry Cheyenne the Legend, but that's not true at all. I'm real appreciative of game companies such as, of course, Nintendo, and then Sega, Capcom, Namco, Ubisoft, let's see, Isomniac Games, and of course, I could go on. I mean, that's really over-exaggerated. So, Cheyenne the Legend, if that's really what you believe about me, then that's not true at all. All right, and to all you frickin' fricks who say that I'm a restricted gamer, I don't want to hear it, you trolls! I'm sorry. And now for Little Deport, the final question. Since you are 14, you are very young compared to most YouTube celebrities. How does it feel to be such a great success at a young age? Also, how do you cope with being so much more articulate and well-spoken than others that are your own age? I wouldn't consider myself a YouTube celebrity, but my videos have spiked in terms of popularity somehow. And how do you meet such great success at a young age? Well, well, it feels quite good to have such a loyal fan base, except for the trolls! And how do you 
you cope with being so much more articulate and well-spoken than others your age? I am online schooled, so I teach myself, so it's easier for me to learn, and I'm smarter than others my age. Most people, in terms of speaking, I'm sure there are many fellow intelligent um, teens out there like me, and... Yes, thank you, little D part, for being so kind and generous as to say that. Also, I would like to make a shout out to Provol Amy. Thank you for being a loyal fan and making me part of your featured channels. I hope this shout out made your day. <laughs> That's all the time we have today. Thank you for watching my 50th video special. Today was quite, quite a special day for me. And unfortunately, I must say I'm signing out. Thank you for tuning in, viewers, and so long. I must say, thank you all for tuning in for my 50th video special. I certainly have plenty of videos on the way after this, so stay tuned for that. Thank you all for supporting me all the way up to my 50th video special, and I hope all you frickin' trolls go away! Uh, but, nonetheless, these have been a great 50 videos. I hope to do something like this in the future. I loved this Q&A, and I hope you viewers did too. Well, unfortunately, I have to sign out. Thank you all for watching, and sayonara, because I gotta get back to gaming.